Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sankara. Today, my lecture is on contributory negligence. I have by now you are thorough. What is negligence? It is nothing but breach of duty of care or opposite to diligence. You can file the case and the torts. You can file the case and the crime also. <coughs> right now, we have to. Uh, think about the defenses so two important defenses are there one is contributory and the second one is composite negligence contributory negligence means, means when the plaintiff that means who file person who file the case he himself contributes so then he himself is a wrongdoer then he cannot claim compensation even though there is a damage right so here when the plaintiff by his own want of care or breach of duty of care contributes to the damage caused in the accident caused so then he will be exempted that means the plaintiff will be exempted from paying the compensation compensation normally what happens is this man goes and says that i was going on my motorcycle somebody came and hit me like this he will say if the other person, the defendant is able to prove that this man has not driven his vehicle in a careful manner and he contributed for the negligence, then no compensation will be given. Truly, <clears throat> basically, this is what is called contributory negligence. Contribution, giving something, that means you are also contributing to the accident, not only that man, you yourself have. Best example, suppose if you are going by train, as anxious normally, you want to enjoy the ride on the footboard of the train. Suppose if some accident takes place, so you yourself are contributing to the negligence. So no compensation will be given to the persons who are traveling on the footboard and involved in the accident. Similarly, if you go to get into the bus and if you keep your elbow outside, maybe for window or maybe for other purpose, if some other vehicle comes and brushes it and some causes some accident, you <coughs> the other person will not be liable because you are contributing, you are inviting the person. So this is what is called contributory negligence. It is a good defense. <coughs> now let us discuss the case laws. Very famous case laws, Butterfield versus Forrester, 1809. So this man Forrester, he was a contractor, I believe. He erected a pole totally obstructing the traffic wantonly he has done it because he is doing the contract work from the pole towards the other side so nobody should cross this pole right he has erected this pole and actually this pole is obstructing the road also right now our plaintiff mr butterfield he was uh, going on a horse driven cart and he was going at such excessive speed that uh, <clears throat> after coming to this pole he did not observe the pole of course the horses they were already blind you all know the horses did not observe the same and luckily they escaped and this man was hit by the pole he fell down he received injuries now he filed a case against mr forrester right <clears throat> so the defense is that there was sufficient daylight so what that too the road was straight without any bends or curves that means uh, an ordinary person can see the pole from a distance of 100 yards and he can, he can take precautions or he can take another direction and go away. But without doing that thing straight away, by driving the horses at excessive speed, he came and caused the accident. That means he contributed to the accident. No doubt, even though the other person obstructed the traffic, traffic he has though unauthorized he has erected the pole here this man contributed to the negligence therefore the court of appeals held that the plaintiff himself was liable for the accident and no compensation second <coughs> yogendra paul choudhury versus manjula durgadas 1872 it is very clear so normally whenever you have to cross any unmanned or unmanned level crossing gates you have to look to both sides this side and this side and after confirming that no train is passing thereby nearby you have to cross the road but uh, tra railway track but this man he tried to cross the road uh, all of a sudden and hit by a moving train so he was guilty of contributory negligence straight example I have given 
then gobald mode service motor services versus velu swami 1961 yes here what happened is so this gobald mode services this is an appeal case so therefore actually velu swami filed a case against gobald motor services and of course the judgment was against to motor services now they have come for an appeal here also they were not successful right the bus belonging to Gobold Motor Service, uh, of course, uh, it met with an accident. How the accident occurred is, first, uh, the driver swerved the vehicle towards the right and hit uh, a milestone. The milestone was uprooted. Then the vehicle, the bus, went to the nearby tamarind tree and hit the same. As a result of which, the bark of the tree was peeled off and later it has gone to a low grade in person and stopped there. And so many people have been injured. Right, so a case of negligence definitely will be booked against the bus driver or the motor service company, and they were asked to pay compensation to the injured persons. Now, the <coughs> the defense by them is here. There was the uh, actually mechanical defect they have pleaded. So central bolt of the central nut bolt they have been. Uh, actually accident caused by sudden breaking of rear side central bolt so they wanted to take the defense of uh, the so called mechanical defect that is uh, contributor negligence on the part of uh, the vehicle but it was not allowed so the driver should be careful the driver should check up about the mechanical of course if something happens we can't help but he should check up the condition of the vehicle before the boarding the bus and where he has failed and of course the court did not agree for this uh, mischievous defense and it has ordered compensation. So there is no part of uh, contributory negligence uh, on the part of the passengers. Of course they might have say taken the defense that the passengers uh, encouraged him to drive the vehicle which the court did not accept. Anyway, the Supreme Court raised the presumption that uh, <clears throat> rash or negligent driving could be the reason for the accident so the defense of mechanical defect not accepted so friends briefly this is regarding contributory negligence in the next class we'll discuss about the composite negligence thank you